Hello, my name is Merely Adequate, and welcome to my Adequate Redstone series. Today, as you see behind me, we will be building a single space trident killer. Now, obviously, it's a trident killer, so it'll only work in Bedrock, not Java. So, uh, this is what we're going to do. If you're looking for something powerful, <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> if you need something powerful that's going to handle lots of mobs, I would recommend checking out Silent Whisperer's channel. He's amazing at this stuff, obviously. Um, but I was looking for space, something smaller uh, that would work for a single uh, one by one drop chamber. And so I made this one myself and it works great. As for demonstration, we'll throw in some mobs and there they go. Easy as that. This will start off as a standard drop shoot for say a mob spawner. Um, uh, just a single wide um, with whatever your collection method is you prefer, whether it's just a hopper and a row of hoppers or a chest or, or a dropper that's spitting out or whatever you want. You can do whatever you want below it. But then you're going to have just a couple of pistons on each side and then a bunch of observers uh, just clocking that thing. Uh, and then, of course, you can run the signal to wherever you want. Uh, and then, of course, one sticky. So let me show you uh, the items that are needed. Uh, two regular pistons, four observers, a sticky piston, uh, just one redstone dust, a lever. We're going to use a couple hoppers for our item movement, and, of course, the trident. Uh, I'm using glass as the tube so you can see what's going on, but obviously you can use whatever you want as the drop shoot for your people. And then a, uh, a block of choice just to, uh, I think you need one block to put some redstone on. All right, let's grab all that. And then we'll get to work. Um, it's going to be basically, like I said, straight up. So this will be as if you have your tube, right? Then we are going to place pistons on either side facing in great I want to use some more of the glass to give us a little bit of a ring around it so I can place things on some of this glass can go away later next I'm going to need some observers and I want the signal to be going into the pistons so we'll turn around and put them down like this so that the signal is going into the piston. Yeah? Great. And then we're gonna put a clock here. I'm just gonna build part of it to begin with. But uh, when we put the clock here of the observer clock feeding back and forth, uh, this will see one part of the clock, but we'll need to put a redstone dust so that this one will see the other part of the clock. Great. Okay, so we'll turn around and put one half of the clock down like that. Now, if I was to put the other half down, which you can go ahead and do it right now, you'll see, it'll just start running. And there it is. But obviously, we want this thing to be able to power on and off, so let's take that out for a moment. And then we're going to put a sticky piston down below. See that? So this is where the block will end up, and then two below is the sticky piston. So then we'll put down the observer so that when it goes up, oh, excuse me, I did that backwards. So they're facing each other. And when they face each other, they'll just like run as a clock constantly. And then you can put a lever right on it or run a little bit of dust out and then put the lever. So it'll push up the observer, start the clock, and get it running. And that is basically it. Obviously, you'll need to put a trident in there. Uh, impaling would work best. And then you'll want to uh, completely surround this thing, you know, as much as you're able, because obviously uh, bedrock is glitchy, and so sometimes things 
go through diagonally blocks. And so you want to make sure that you've got this thing kind of sealed in as much as, you know, the space will allow, uh, depending on what kind of, obviously if you're building something small like this, you're wanting to keep it small. So you may not have too many. Um, and that is it. That is how it works. The only thing I want to say about it is uh, it's not super powerful. It's plenty to handle one or two spawners as long as it's running. If you let a whole bunch of mobs build up inside of there, then when you turn it on, it won't be powerful enough to kill off those mobs. So this will be something that you walk into the room and turn on while your spawner is working. Okay, this was a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, hopefully you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Obviously, as I said before, being a Trident Killer, this is only for Bedrock, so it will not work at all on Java. Uh, and uh, please leave a comment or a like if you, uh, if you feel like it, <laughs> all right? Thanks so much, and I hope you've enjoyed this adequate redstone.